welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and today is Wednesday and on Wednesdays we cashed off. Um, I am going to start this video by letting you know that I am having a day, I'm having a week, maybe it's a month, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. but I am like max ADHD, max tism. <laughs> the um just everything 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 is really really overwhelming at the moment I don't um anyone else who watches who is also on the spectrum or has ADHD will probably understand is it too dark let me just have a look Ooh, I think it's okay ish I hope it's not too dark you guys um we'll probably understand that so there are times in life it's it can be a little bit cyclical where um there are times where you feel like completely normal and it's all good and everything's kind of fine and then you hit like I don't know I don't know if it's burnout if it's just overwhelm I'm not really sure but you have these periods of time where it is like every single trait and symptom is just amplified by like a million um so my my sensory stuff is out of control. Everything is too bright. Everything is too loud. All of my clothing feels wrong. I can feel the mascara on my eyelashes. Mm, it's so unpleasant. Just nothing, nothing feels right. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, um, Oh, I can't think of the word dissociated. I'm not quite myself just at the moment. Um, so today's video might be an absolute shambles. There may be lots of shenanigans. I don't know. We'll just see how we go. We'll just see how we go and hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. Um, I did go and get my nails done. <gasps> They're so pretty. It's been so long since I've had my nails done by somebody else, like years and years and years since I've been into a nail salon and um, I like immediately remembered why I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but also they're so pretty. Um, I do love having my nails done. I just don't love having my nails done. I don't like having to sit there for that long. It's not, yeah, it's not the most, I, I don't, it's not enjoyable for me. Um, the process of actually getting them put on, but I do like having them done. I love having pretty nails, you guys. And, um, I know I said I wasn't going to do it because I didn't want to spend the money on it. Um, but my, um, husband, bless him dearly, is a massive enabler. <laughs> It's like you deserve to get them done so just go and get them done if it's gonna make you feel a little bit better and it does make me feel a little bit better so you know that's that it just means that's where all of my spending money will go uh now to get my nails refilled okay so enough of that chitter chatter let's do our card so we're doing the uh, i can't i'm not gonna try and say it every week you guys because i'm not sure that i'm saying it right and I don't want to just completely butcher it every single week. So we're playing the get to know you game. Let's just call it that. So I'm going to pull a card. Let's see. Um, what was the best $100 you ever spent? Oh my gosh. The best $100 I ever spent. Hmm. I mean, that's very appropriate for this channel, isn't it? Um... Best hundred dollars I've ever spent. It will be something experience based, I think. Um, like probably. Do you know what? Probably I feel like the best hundred dollars I've ever spent was going. Um, we went tree surfing in uh, Port. Do oh, is in Port Douglas. It was in the Dane Tree in the rainforest up north. We went to Port Douglas back in, I think it was twenty nineteen. Um, and my gosh, that place is beautiful. I would absolutely love to go back. And we went up and spent a whole day in the Daintree and we did tree surfing. Um, and it was amazing. We all had so much fun. Even my youngest, who was pretty little at the time, I think she was only three. Um, yes, yeah, she was. She would have been three. Gosh, that's tiny now that I think about it. Um, she even did it. She did it. She got in the harness and you like trapeze through, it's like flying foxes through the whole forest. And it's just an incredible way to see some really, really cool um, parts of the Daintree. And yeah, it was super fun. 
was super super fun i think that's that's like the first thing that comes to mind i'm sure there's plenty of other other things um that we've done that when i think about it later i'll go oh, i should have said that but anyway let me know down below in the comments what's the best hundred dollars you've ever spent or you know it doesn't have to be hundred dollars what's the best money you've ever spent what was it on um yeah i'd be interested to know okay so today we have 51 20 40 60 80 200 220 230 240 250 260 270 280 290 300 310 20 30 340 350 360 370 380 390 400 410 4 and 420 430 i think it is oh gosh i lost count i'm pretty sure it's 430 you guys and we've got two we've got two Special $5 notes. Yes, they are the same ones that you've seen on my channel before because I have been recycling them because I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> They're just going to stay in my rotation forever and ever and ever. Okay, so starting off today, we have $20 going into water. Um, now, we are putting more into gas than usual. Um, so water now has 50, 70, 90, 110. Because I get our gas, uh, I got our gas bill and it's disgusting. It's still so high and I'm really sad about it. Um, but you know, have to pay it and all that. Uh, electricity is getting 50. I was going to steal from electricity to pay for gas, but I thought I better not because then I'm going to run into the same problem with electricity later on. Uh, so electricity has 250, 300, 310. Um, yeah. Uh, so gas is getting 50, 60, 70, and 80. Yuck. So much money. We've hardly even had the heater on. This is, they put their prices up as well. So it's a double whammy. It's like, um, the tail end of our winter usage and their increased prices. So I think our bill was... 536 I want to say and we've got 200 250 300 20 40 60 70 370 so we've got a fair way to go you guys um it's due at the end of this month so we've got a couple of weeks to come up with that at least $30 going into phones So that now has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 in there. It's amazing how quickly just $30 a week adds up. Uh, everything else in here is being skipped on account of the fact that, oh, wow, I really need to update that. I massively need to update that. Okay, we'll add that to the to-do list. Um, yeah, everything else in there, whoops, don't forget the marker, is being skipped on account of gas stealing money from every other category. Because it's so mean like that. Uh, $30 going into car insurance. Nice. So, uh oh, did I put that in there? I think I did. So 100, 150, 170, 180. I'm pretty sure there was only 150 in there before. Oh no. Oh well, no, at the end. I'll forget where it was supposed to go. <laughs> This is the thing, I'm so forgetful at the moment. It's really bad. Um, this is when I'm like, gosh, I need to be medicated. Uh, 200, 220, 240 in car registration. So that is now enough to pay the three months that's due. Uh, that's also due at the end of this month. Car service. I have just realized uh, this is getting tender. I think my car is actually due for service this month. I, for some reason, thought it was next month. But I was looking at the little sticker on my car window yesterday and it very clearly says October. Um, so 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 195. So I'm going to give them a call because I actually have no clue how much I need for the car service. Um, like I know it will depend on if there's anything wrong with the car as well. But normally they have like a, um, a rough idea of how much it will cost if everything's kind of a-okay uh car tire's got five and that now has 50 65 in there i shouldn't have colored off a tire yet but oh well 
and then license is just getting a five. So I got this renewal. So in good news, well, hubby did, got his renewal. They're giving him 25% off because he has such a good driving record because he's got no demerit points or anything like that. So that's awesome. So I thought it was going to be 312. It's actually only going to be like $235. So we just need another $30 in here and we're good. And that is due on the 5th of November. So that should be good to go. I'm absolutely stoked. In bad news, I did check and my boat license is due at the end of next year and boat licenses are more expensive than car licenses because I have a personal watercraft endorsement, which means I'm allowed to drive a jet ski. Um, so for the five years, it's, I think it was 250 or something. So I am still going to have to fund this category, which is really annoying because I was hoping to start putting out money here or into tires. Um, or somewhere else helpful, but evidently that won't be the case. Um, but then the next license due after that, oh my goodness. So the next license to pay for after that will be mine in 2030. So it's ages away, but actually it will be my daughter's. It will be my daughter's learner's permit. That's terrifying. <gasps> oh guys, I can't cope. I can't cope with the idea of driving a car. <laughs> it just freaks me out. Um, oh dear, Neek. that is a scary thought. Okay, hair is just getting a five. 15, I end up doing my hair purple again, but I don't know if I'm happy with it. I think once it washes out, we might go copper just for something, just for something different. I love a bit of change. This is all part of it, you know, like not being able to decide what to do with my hair. I just about had a meltdown over whether or not to get my nails done. Like it's all, all part of the neurospicy joy. Um, also, it's a very, very dangerous time. Uh, gifts is getting skimped, work is getting five. It's a very, very dangerous time for our bank account when I'm like this, um, because I'm so, there's so much, um, friction inside my brain I look for dopamine wherever I can find it 10 15 20 and that is when I spend money um so that is when I you know I desperately suddenly need a new handbag and that's going to make my life all better or some new clothes or um to get my nails done or <laughs> it'll be anything but it will likely be shopping and it will likely be expensive because that is you know, that's where the big dopamine hits come from. Um, it is why a lot of people with ADHD and stuff have addiction problems. So, I mean, lucky for me, I've never struggled with, I mean, besides a coffee addiction, I do have an issue with coffee, with caffeine, um, but drugs and alcohol have never been my thing. And that's mostly because of my other health issues. It's just not... Um, yeah, I can't, I don't go there. Um, but a lot of people with ADHD have issues with drugs and alcohol because it's an immediate dopamine hit. Um, however, those of us who don't have issues with that often have other addictions. Um, and shopping is a very common one, um, especially in women, because it's, you know, socially acceptable. It's a socially acceptable way to find dopamine real quick, basically. <laughs> um, $10 going into doctors. Um, yeah, so I have to be really careful. I have to be really, really careful uh, when I'm like this. And I am aware of it, but that doesn't always help. It doesn't always mean I can get in front of it and get in control of it. Sometimes it is. And I know, like, some people will listen to this and be like, that's such a cop out. Um, like, yeah, I am aware. The rational side of me is completely aware. The irrational side of me will latch onto something that I want to purchase and then I won't be able to sleep thinking about it. Like that's, that's the intensity with which my brain will latch onto that. And it can be anything, you guys. It has been the dumbest stuff. I have lost sleep thinking about whether or not I can buy just, just the dumbest stuff. Like you wouldn't, you would not even believe it. It's so, and it's so inconsequential, but for some reason, my brain is like, this is life or death situation. <laughs> like, um, yeah, it's mental, but that's why this is, that's why it's a disorder, right? Like a lot of people brush off ADHD as a trendy thing at the moment. I mean, I was diagnosed years and years and years before it was on TikTok or anything like that. But I know that now I wouldn't say it's been popularized, but people are more aware of it. And it is certainly the, the 
more socially acceptable version of of neurospicy than anything else um and a lot of people make light of it there's a lot of jokes around and i like i love a good like meme therapy is huge for neurospicy people um and i love a good adhd like a joke at our expense as much as the next person but at the end of the day it is a disorder. It is, and it can have really, really devastating impacts. Like the ADHD, they call it the ADHD tax, is a real thing. Like buying things that you already have because you literally forgot they existed. Um, buying things and then forgetting that they exist. Like I have that with clothes all the time. I have a wardrobe full of clothes. If I can't Im- immediately see them, I forget that they exist. Um, and then I get distressed because I have nothing to wear, even though I really have a wardrobe full of stuff. It's like, <laughs> and it all sounds trivial, but it's all, um, yeah, it all, it all, imp- it all impacts and it all adds up. Um, so 220, 230 in doctors. So if you are watching me and you have ADHD or, oh, hang on, is this getting a thing? Yes, it is. Or a touch of the tism. I'm here to tell you, just, you're not alone. Like we all experience this stuff. Um, well, I think we do anyway, unless it's just me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no. Okay. Medications <laughs> has 30 in there now. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but yeah, it is tricky. It is tricky. Um, so yeah. All that is to say that I just have to really watch myself if I want to keep moving forward with all of these awesome financial goals that I have because they're going to be very hard to do if I go and drop $400 on a handbag because it feels like a necessity. Uh, oh, no, school's getting skipped. Why have I done that? That feels silly. Uh, I was going to put $10 into uniform. I think I'm going to put $10 into here instead. Um, just because... I know there are a few excursions coming up and I don't think that $400 bonus will have come through yet. 20, 40 and 50 in school expenses now. Um, so we are getting a, in Victoria a $400 per child um, bonus from the Victorian government, which is very lovely of them. Um, I am very, very confused about what we are and what we aren't allowed to spend that money on. Our school books is just getting five. Uh, because I'm kind of getting two different stories from my older kids' school and my younger kids' school. <laughs> so one of them has said you absolutely can't like use it to pay for school fees um, and things like that, but you can use it for uniforms, excursions, as long as you're purchasing from the uniform shop. The other school has said it is possible to buy uniform items that aren't from the uniform shop, which I'm hoping is true because the uniform shop is just garishly expensive. Uh, so Books Now has 120, 130, 140. Um, so yeah, I, but either which way it will be money that we can use for school stuff of some, <laughs> some variety. Um, so that will be very helpful when it comes in. The Victorian government also does active kids or I think it's called get active. If you have children who have a healthcare card, I think it's only for children with a healthcare card. You can get $200 back on any like sporting activity that they do so for my kids i can i can get back some of their swimming costs um we're popping 15 into vet fund so that now has 200 250 260 and 270 in there um but like they've announced it as if it's already happening and it's not yet so i'm hoping that that opens soon um because that 600 dollars would be super duper handy if we do need to buy a new work wardrobe for my gorgeous husband uh but we'll see we will see all right family fun is getting 20 we try and boost this back up a little bit again i need more money in school holidays at the end of the year i think i'm gonna have to do like a couple of mini mondays or a savings challenge for that because i feel like the christmas holidays are going to be costly unfortunately okay that's that one whoops marker uh what am i gonna do next let's do the kids birthdays so they are just getting i might give them these fives 
They are just getting five. What are we up to here? A little green balloon. Oh, someone's very noisy going down my street. Me complaining about the gas bill and we have our heater on today. It is freezing in Melbourne today. 100, 150, 170, 190, 200 exactly in my oldest daughter's birthday. I don't know why I'm reluctant to say their names on here. I'm not, I don't think that it matters. I know a lot of the rest of you share your children's names. Uh, I don't really, I'll have to ask them if they care. <laughs> Consent is key. Um, my daughters have the most beautiful names. I mean, so does my son, but my son's name is much more of a um, normal name, I suppose you'd call it. Gen no, normal, like, not common, but kind of. <laughs> my daughter's names are a bit more unusual. Um, beautiful. Okay, so they've all got five. Did I count what was in hers? Oh, 105, I didn't really need to. And 35 in my son's now. Nice. I think that's all, yeah, that's all anyone's getting in there. And then we just have 15 to go into the Christmas binder. And because it's just 15, I think I'll just quickly do it now. So what I thought I would do is I think we'll be finishing this one. Yes. We have a 10, which is lovely. All right, so let's pop a 10 in here and then this one's done. Whoops. So that now has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or $100 in there. Oh, should I put that? Just give me two seconds, you guys. Okay, I just wanted to grab these. So I'm gonna pop this in here. I mean, obviously I can, tell from the front that it's done. So I'm gonna pop that in there and leave the money out. And we're gonna do that for this one too, because this one's finished, should have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, and 140. Perfect. I'm gonna pop this in here too. And then we are going to do a tiny bit of shuffling. Oh no, hang on. We've got to put out another five in here. So should we do the front again? I'm a bit obsessed with colouring these in, aren't I? They're so cute though. Let's do it. One. Um, what else? Mm hmm. Maybe one of these can be a red one. Two. Uh, and then maybe a little blue one one two three and then and then and then and then one two three let's do this one that's a different purple i think oops uh is it different i think it is Four, and we need one more. Uh, maybe a yellow one. Um, up here. Five. Okay. <gasps> it's looking so cute. Okay, so this one now has in it 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so you stay in there. And then what we're going to do with this... is put it where it needs to go. I don't know why I bother straightening those ones. The other ones aren't. There we go. Just that way no one's eyes are twitching, you know? Okay, so in total, I think this should be 240. So 50, 70, 90, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 340. And what we're gonna do, where have I put that? I think it's in here. 
I don't know why it's in here. I should have put it in Christmas now. Hey, what we're going to do, how am I going to color off these little, I don't really think this through, did I? So they're $30 each. So we've got 30. That's not really going to show up enough, is it? Oh, I feel bad crossing that. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. 210, 240, but I'm also going to put in another 200, so 30, 60, 90, what's that one, 180, so we'll be able to cross off part of that one, yeah, okay, because I'm going to pull out, oh, sorry guys, we're just doing a little bit of admin, so we're going to take, my daughters have decided that they're happy to donate some of their Christmas money to put towards their bunk bed. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got 200 in prop um, and then 240 in cash. So there's 440 in there now. We're going to need more than a thousand dollars, I think, for the bunk bed that they want. I'm really going to have to condense that pretty quick that is a chunky but that's a really good start i don't know how much this saver actually does 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40. Um, yeah so this will save 1200 which should get us pretty close to what we need um yeah awesome that whoops is a jolly good start on that so then we should have left 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 dollars to have some fun in savings challenges. So I will see you on Friday for those. Thank you so so much for joining me today. I hope it wasn't too all over the shop, and I do apologize for the TED talk regarding neuro spicy neuro sparkliness. Um, <laughs> it's just because of the headspace that I'm in. Um, what else was I going to say? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm two subbies off of 700, which is so exciting. So, so exciting. Um, so yeah, if you haven't hit that button yet and you're enjoying my content, please push the button. I would be so, so grateful. Um, I love you all very, very much. I'm so, um, yeah, I'm so grateful for all of the support and for having found this community because you're all so wonderful. It's just really, really nice. So um yeah i will get going and get some more orders in the post today woohoo um and i will see you guys on friday for savings games okay i love you bye bye